Hey there, good looking. Join me for this low impact metabolic conditioning workout, otherwise known as Metcons. If you're unfamiliar with this type of training, it just generally means a circuit style workout using the larger muscles of the body. Now listen, for this workout, all you need is a one pair of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 12s, and you may also want a mat if you're on a hard surface. All right, let's go get warmed up. Join my next fitness challenge for women over 40, the 21 day strong and sassy challenge. Registration is now on. Challenge kicks off September 5th, 2023. All right, let's get ourselves warmed up as we do. I'm gonna talk about the workout because if you've been with me in the past, this is a brand new programming for us. I'm trying something different. Let's start with some walkouts. I want you to come to the end of the mat, feet apart. We want sink into a deep squat. So let's start with the deep squat. Knees tracking with toes, sinking the bum down. Great. So as I progress with this move, if it doesn't work for your shoulders or your wrists, you can stay with this move. All right, now this time I want you to sink it all the way down, hands to ground, walk forward, wrists under shoulders, high plank, walk back, heels to ground, drive up. Do it again. Give it a try. Even if you think, oh my goodness, PJ, I can't do that. Okay, give it a try. It's a great total body warm up drill. And then, like I said, if you give it a try and it still doesn't work for you, you stick with those deeper squats for me. Let's do two more. All right, on this one, we're gonna go into that high plank. So if you were squatting, I want you to come and join me. High plank, wrists under shoulders. You can also be on those knees to modify. From here, take an arm, circle it back, and then the other arm moving through the shoulder joint, as well as firing up that core. Because as I mentioned, a metabolic conditioning workout makes us use the larger muscles of the body, and that also means that we're using our core to stabilize. Let's do two more. One more. Good, lower the knees underneath the hips, left hand behind the ear, left elbow to inside right elbow, rotate up, working shoulder and T-spine. Last two. Other side, wrist under shoulder, hand light behind that right ear now, and rotate. Two more. Good job, come on to the forearms, extend the left leg, flex the foot, drive the heel up to your ceiling, waking up the booty, your glutes. Right knees underneath the hip, gaze at that top of the mat. Good job. Now lift the leg up, hold it here, foot is still flexed and bring the heel to the bum, waking up the hamstrings. Now let's walk ourselves onto our hands and hold. Wrists under shoulders now. Good. Last four. Three. Two. One. Feel free to double up the mat if it's too much on that stabilizing knee. Drop onto the forearms. Extend the right leg now. Foot flexed and press up. So here's the deal. We have a minute and a half of the exercise. <laughs> Don't freak out. It's one minute with the strength move and then 30 seconds of a low impact move, 30 second breather, and we move into the next series. This is all one round only, so no repeats. Good, last two. Hold the leg up here. Come onto the hands, wrist under shoulders, flex the foot, heel to bum, hamstring curls. Good. Two more. And bring her down. All right, so we are gonna get busy in less than 25 seconds. So grab a quick sip of water. That was super specific, wasn't it? In less than 25 seconds. Now, for the leg exercises, you can definitely go no weight if you're brand new. I'm gonna hold on to one dumbbell. Feet go out wide. We're taking it into a side to side lunge. Turn those toes out. Dumbbell's gonna be held up towards the chest so we don't stress your low back. You take it down and down, good. Push the bum back as you do. Think about sinking down deep, knees tracking with the toes. You can also bring the dumbbell down, just don't 
around that upper back, okay? Good. As we go, you might be able to bit de- take it a bit deeper because we're warming up further. We have a low impact jumping jack coming up at about 15 seconds. Let's do one more each side. Dumbbell to ground and low impact. You flow right into it. Good job, you. Obviously, if you'd like the impact, if you want to do impact, right? It's all for you. (laughs) Get those arms going, shoulder height, be strong with them. Tap that leg out, work that outer hip. We get a break in three, two, one, and break. March it out. All right, so in 30 seconds, we're going to take it to a squat, holding on to a dumbbell. Beginners, no dumbbell. And then our cardio, our low impact, will be a squat pulse. I'm just going to turn up my timer here. It's really low. Okay, so we can hold on to one dumbbell, two, or two dumbbells. Okay, an easy way to hold on to two is push them together like so. All right, here we go. Feet shoulder width, toes slightly turned out. Take it down. Drive it up. If you're new to exercise, start with no weight. I want you to be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> if you've been with me for a while, you know, how to, I can cripple you, cripple you every so often, can't I? <laughs> but what we're trying to really do is pretend there's a chair behind us and we're trying to seek out that chair with our rear end. We have a minute of these and then we'll get rid of the weight and pulse it for 30 seconds. Our quads are gonna love us. So during the strength portion, we're taking it slow with control, really getting an understanding of the muscles we're working. So don't rush through this. You can go faster when we do the low impact cardio drill. Let's do one more squat. Dumbbells down, stay here and pulse. Woo. Good. The lower you are, the harder it is. So you choose what's going to get your thighs on fire. Take a look. That heart rate's still up there. 15 more seconds. We'll shake those legs out. Come on. Pull those shoulder blades together. Don't round that back. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Woo. All right. 30 seconds, we're moving into a piston row. So let's practice our neutral spine. Place the hands at the very top of your thigh. Push the hips back, knees bend, and this is neutral, come back up. So we're not hinging from our pant here, okay? From our waistband. Bend those legs, put a dumbbell in each hand. Okay, hip hinge. Dumbbells in front, now it's a single arm. Other side. Great job. So you might feel your low back fatigue, totally normal, right? We're holding, using those extensors to hold ourselves out here. You just don't want any pain. So if you've got pain, lighten up your dumbbells, check out your form, readjust. We're here for 30 seconds or 60 seconds, pardon me. And then we'll move into our low impact drill. A lot of legs on this one too. Or maybe I'm just still feeling it from the squat pulse. Woo. Good. Tighten up those abs. Elbow coming up, squeezing that shoulder blade towards the center of the back. Good. Last four. Three. Two. One, dumbbells down, and skater. Good, so it's taking it really wide, working that lateral hip. Landing soft, knee bent. 
good. This is another easy one if you want to turn it into a higher impact drill, right? Pushing and landing on the one foot. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, march it out. Whew. All right, on our next one, we just need one of our dumbbells. Let's hold on to it. I want you to mirror me. Hold on to it with your right. And then you're stepping back with your feet hip width with that right leg. We're combining a lunge, going down as deep as you'd like to a bicep curl and shoulder press. So let's set up here. Feet hip width apart, step back. Now do the lunge. Again, go as deep as you feel comfortable. Good, drive up. Now do a hammer curl to press. Now, if that press isn't available to you because of a shoulder issue or just <laughs> purely due to the size of the dumbbell, don't do it, all right? Do the bicep curl, though. Now, if you are not able to bend that back knee too much, what you could do is turn this into a bit of a traveling step back so we work a little bit more. So this is if you're unable to bend that back knee a whole heck of a lot otherwise. Knee to ground if you can, drive up, hammer curl and press with control. Now whatever leg we have behind us, that's gonna turn into our repeater knee when we do our low impact cardio in about 10 seconds. All right, one more. Dumbbell down. Repeat her knee, go. So nothing changed, that back leg still stays that back leg. Oh, and we feel that front leg even more now. Drive those arms up. Once we add the arms, we add the intensity. Come on, pick it up. Let's go. Tap that knee. Slight hinge with that hip. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, march it out. Woo. Hello leg. So we gotta do it on the other side, don't we? <laughs> you bet. Grab a quick sip if you need it. Okay, so you're gonna mirror me, right? So now that dumbbell is in your left hand, that left leg is gonna go for our lunge. For our lunge, we wanna set ourselves up, feet are shoulder width apart, and then we step back with the feet still apart. Okay, let's take it down. Here we go, down. Curl and press. Again, just curl if that's what's available to you. And do your best with that lunge. Remember, if you wanna move with the lunge and not bend the back knee too much, that's what it looks like. Moving through it, working balance. Good job. This is our last series where we're standing. We're moving onto the mat, coming up. It's a lot of core on this one too, using the one dumbbell, what we call unilateral training. Great way to fire up your abs without you even knowing it. <laughs> one more lunge. Give me the last hammer curl and press. Now we're gonna keep that leg behind us. Arms up and drive. Good job. Come on. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, march it out, woo baby. I love that one. Okay, we're doing a narrow press to chest fly. So let's go on our backs, dumbbell in each hand, heels close to the bump, all right? You do a narrow press and then elbows bend out a bit, do a chest fly and then finish the narrow press. So you ready? Let's give her a try. Wrists over elbows, elbows in tight to the body. Let's start with the press. So press up. Now bend the elbows slightly away from you. Open the arms up, back of the arms hit the mat. Now close the arms and drive the elbows down. 
So make sure you bend those elbows a little bit when you do your fly. And then when you do that, you're also gonna kind of rotate your hands in a bit. So bend a little bit at the wrist to protect the wrist joint. Thirty more seconds, and then we're in a high plank position for our low impact cardio drill. All right, one more press, one more fly, finish it. Okay, high plank, wrists under shoulders. You can be on the knees to modify and tap the foot out side to side, otherwise off of the knees and go. This one too is really easy to turn into high impact if you wanna make it spicier. Plug those wrists right under the shoulders, take a gaze at the top of the mat, bum stays down. If you're jumping, you're not moving those hips all over the place, control it. Good, three, two, one, release. Whew, that gets the arms too, doesn't it? <laughs> You're welcome. All right, we just need one dumbbell for this one. We're gonna take it super slow for a pullover. All right, so we're back onto our backs. I want you to hold the dumbbell so that it's pointed down towards you. Your hands are cupping the top of the dumbbell. Now, rotate the dumbbell so now it's facing to the wall behind you. Keeping your low back anchored, not allowing it to lift. Elbows soft, let those dust. Arms go down and then slow and controlled for three, two, one. So I really want you to go slow with this because for most of you, this weight will probably be too light. So instead, what we're gonna do for intensity is do time under tension. Keep the muscle under tension for a little longer. We're moving through the shoulder joint, not those elbows. Now, if this is really too easy for you, so there are a number of you that have gotten really fit on me. I'm super proud of you. Double up the dumbbells, okay? It's nice and slow, keeping that low back anchored. Let's do one more, and then we have hip bridge with a knee drive. Last one here, pull it back up, dumbbell to the ground, heels hip width, drive those hips, and now drive the knee. Keep those hips up though while we're driving this single knee in, and then keep those hips quiet as well. One's not dropping as we lift the knee up. Arms down by your side, push through that heel, get those hips up high, work into those glutes. Good, pick up the tempo and release. All right, good job. We've got our last move here. We're gonna do a skull crusher dead bug. So we're using just one dumbbell again. This time we're holding it end to end, extend the arms. So the post of your dumbbell is just above your forehead. Let's bring the legs in tabletop. That means knees over hips, ankles lined up with the knees. Now draw the belly button in and anchor that spine. As we lower the dumbbell post towards the forehead, we lower one leg to the ground, straighten, good. So don't hit your forehead. <laughs> Mind you, you only have to do that once and you learn your lesson, hey? As you lower that leg, we wanna keep that low back anchored. So if you're unable to, keep the knee bent, all right? If you did my back friendly ab workout I released last week, I explained that the straighter your leg is, the more challenging the move. So it's really easy to dial back the intensity as well as increase it when we're using the legs for our ab drill. Keep the knees over the hips too. If the knees are too close towards your chest, that's not gonna work. We're moving into mountain climbers for our last low impact drill. I saved the best for last. Let's do four, three, Two, and one. Let's come on to wrists under shoulders. High plank, drive the knee in, drive the knee in. 
Take a gaze at the top of the mat. If this is hard, I want you to hang in there. We have 15 seconds left. That's it, okay? Come on. Feet apart. Three, two, one, release. Woo, good job, you. All right, grab yourself a sip of water. We're gonna do a couple of stretches and then you can continue on with your day. All right, grab that sip of water and then when you're ready, we're gonna stretch into the quads as well as the rest of the muscles lying on our side. Top heel to bum, pull that knee back. Ah, I feel that lovely stretch in the quadricep. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can take that bottom leg, hook it on top of the top. So for those of you who have been with me for a while, let me know what you think of the programming. A little different. Um, through the month, if you're watching these in real time, you know, we've released a little shorter workouts because it is August. And I realize that I will... You know, we're outside, we're moving more outside, doing sport outside or on vacation. So I wanted to keep the workouts shorter so that you guys got some sort of strength in and release. Let's do the other side. Heck, maybe you're able to take this outside with you. I know if you're on Over 50 Fitness, you guys doing that, you can do that. Remember on Over 50 Fitness, you can download all the workouts too for when you don't have uh, Wi-Fi. All right, take that bottom leg if you'd like. Tuck it on top of the top one. And bring yourself into a child's pose with the arms extended. Now, I like a wide knee child pose, so my big toes are together and my knees are open. You play around with it, but I want your arms about mat width. Walk them forward, forehead to mat, and then just drop the chest down. So we get a little bit of T-spine, that thoracic, area, thoracic spine area in your mid-back. We get some extension in that. It tends to be locked up in a lot of us while we walk those hands forward to stretch the sides of the body. Lift up, right hand on top of left, right hip pushes away. And the other side, left hip pushes away. On your stomach, arms extended, lined up with the shoulders, palms down. Good, lift the left leg, bend the knee and roll onto that right arm while that left hand comes in front of the chest and pushes you back. So you're rolling onto that back arm to get more of a stretch in the arm and pack. Then if you want it into that left hip, you can walk that left foot up towards the hand some more. Back to center, adjust those arms, left foot, Right leg, pardon me, now roll onto that left arm. We'll take that right arm, press it into the ground, and then if we want more in the hip, we take this leg here and walk it up to our left hand. Back to center, press yourself up into downward dog, feet hip width, ankles in a straight line with the toes, Bring the elbows in slightly, ears resting beside the biceps. And knees to ground. Thank you so much for joining me. You can help this video out by clicking that thumbs up button so the YouTube algorithm can find it. Thank you so much. And before you leave, make sure you drop a comment. I wanna hear from you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next workout. Bye.